Did Google's new image generator, Nano Banana, just replace Photoshop? In this video, I'm going to be recreating some of my top tutorials that used photo editing tools such as Photoshop, ChatGPT, and Adobe Firefly to test out Nano Banana's capabilities. So when Photoshop first launched Generative AI, there was this cool feature that allowed you to use image reference and turn any of your photos into these different art styles. So since then, this feature seems to have been removed, now producing results like this. So first up, we're going to be recreating the same effect. So to begin, head over to nanobanana.ai and you'll initially just get two credits and that's just going to get you one image generation. So I have gone over to pricing and I've purchased the basic model. So at a monthly subscription, that's $9.99 a month. And that's going to get you 100 credits and generate 50 images. So let's head back to the image generator. And so we're going to start by uploading our image. So I'm going to drop in the image of our car. And then I'm just going to use the prompt oil painting and then click generate now. And one thing I've been impressed with is the generation time. So generally it's around one minute but it can be even faster than that. And so here we have our image, and so we're gonna download that. And then if I open that up, let's take a look. And that's done a pretty amazing job. Like that is a very realistic oil painting with the texture and the colors. So looking at that, I'm pretty impressed. And I'll put up the comparison on screen now of the results that I got from Photoshop. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the quality. Now I'll also show you another example, one that I created earlier, converting the same image into a crayon drawing. And so let's have a look at another example. So we can remove that. I'll chuck up the tutorial on screen, but basically we created this 3D uh, looping text, which we uploaded to Adobe Firefly to convert it to uh, 3D materials such as a rope or glass. So we'll see if Nano Banana can do the same effect. So I'm going to put in my image reference here, and then we're going to put in the prompt down here, which is a shiny, smooth, transparent glass tube isolated on a white background, soft lighting. So let's click Generate Now and see how it handles that image. And here we have our final result. Again, I find it a little bit annoying that you can't preview it in here, but we can download it and then I'll pull it up so we can take a look. And so here is the final image. And I think it's done a really good job of sticking to the um, original reference photo. And it's followed that same layering of our text. And so I think it's followed the prompt really well. Um, I'll throw up the image that I created in the last tutorial as a comparison. And I think what you see is um, Adobe Firefly created this image and used a little bit more artistic expression uh, to bring it to life, while Nano Banana stuck very closely to that reference image. But overall, really good job, and again, I'm pretty happy with this result. And so next up, I really wanted to try if Nano Banana could do image composites like Photoshop. And so you can see here, we can actually upload up to nine reference images. So I'm gonna start by uploading an image of a rhino and then another image of the scene, which is a gallery. And then I'm gonna paste in the prompt here, take the image of the rhino and composite into the gallery applying realistic lighting. And so we're gonna generate now. And so again, I'll link to the tutorial where I did this in Photoshop with their new harmonize feature and you can compare for yourself the results. And so first impressions, it actually looks really accurate. Um, and I was actually surprised to see it did what I asked first time. And so here is the final image. And again, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. It's done a really good job of adding our rhino into our gallery scene. And so here's the comparison that I created in Photoshop. And you can let me know which one you think's better, I think. The one in Nano Banana is a little bit more accurate in terms of lighting and color, although it looks like maybe there's a little bit more sun, so maybe there's a window in front of them um, in comparison to our Photoshop version. But yeah, very impressed. 
it's clear cut it almost perfectly and the shadows and the reflections on the marble um, I think is a really nice touch. So next up is a core feature of Photoshop which is colorizing images or recoloring images and so in this example I've got this statue here which I'm going to upload and basically I want to change the color to chrome so I'm going to put in the prompt bar here change the color of the statue to chrome hyper realistic 4k rendering and generate now and here is our final image now just from first looks it looks like it has changed it a little bit so this is the first time I've noticed that um, it could just be my eyes but if you're comparing them here looks like it's almost made its neck uh, a little bit longer and maybe changed the proportions a little bit but let's download this and have a closer look and here it is here so obviously a, a lot more realistic than what you can do in Photoshop obviously in Photoshop we can change the color to give it this chrome look but it's not gonna achieve the same results with this accurate lighting and texture that's also applied to it so again amazing results from this one. And so I'm curious to know how Nano Banana handles faces. Um, this is something AI has uh, struggled with in the past. And so in this example, I've got an image of a face and it's very low resolution. So it's very pixelated here. And I want to see if Nano Banana can enhance the resolution. So I'm going to drop that image in here. And then I'm going to use this prompt, fix the resolution of this image enhance the image resolution to make it clearer and sharper like the original image and click generate and again just to emphasize how impressed I am with the generation times like I said it estimates around sort of 40 40 seconds to 60 seconds but it's actually only taking sort of 10 to 20 seconds so that's that's really impressive and look we're already done we've got the image and look at that that is high resolution right there and it's maintained the original image to a T so let's download that and let's have a closer look so there is the final image generation and you wouldn't even suspect that this was AI generated so um, I'll put up side by side so here's the Photoshop version so you can see the Photoshop version like it did a good job it removed the pixelation but it hasn't brought in some of this original detailing that we see on the nano banana version so so far it's it's actually hard to fault nano banana it's done everything uh, that photoshop can do but better so we've got one more test to try out and this is the distraction remove tool that photoshop's recently added that basically removes any sort of people in the background of your photos so let's see how nano banana handles this so I'll put in this image here and so as you can see we've got some people in the background and even this one in the middle here that's a little bit tricky to remove so I'm going to upload this image and then I'm going to paste this prompt remove all the people in the background leaving just the two main subjects and then click generate now if you want to know how to do this in Photoshop I'll put the link to the tutorial on the video and here is the final image so again uh, what nano banana had to do was actually recreate people and faces to the right proportions so we can download this and let me pull that up and so this is the before and after and it's done a really good job removing the people but as you can see it's also removed uh, some of the the flowers and the plants around them so this is something I didn't ask it to do but regardless it's done a really good job now in comparison here is the version that I created in Photoshop and I did this using the distraction remove tool and I'll put a link to the video here that you guys can go have a look and see how to do it in Photoshop now these are just some examples of what you can do in nano banana but as you can see the results speak for themselves now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe for more design content that will save you time and I'll see you in the next video.